Hi everybody. Um, we established with You're So Pushy the idea that air molecules, since they move and have mass, apply a pressure just like that ball bearing did going down the ramp. And in this we're going to model another thing about air pressure, and in this we're going to use a ping pong ball to be an air molecule. And just like the ball on the ramp, when the ping pong ball hits anything, it applies a pressure to it. The air molecules in the room are obviously way too small to see, but they're constantly flying around the room until they hit the barriers of the room or us. And every time they do, they apply a pressure. We may not feel we, like we feel it, but they do. It's one of the things that allows us to breathe. So what we're gonna start doing in the next couple lessons is figure out ways that we could maybe change that air pressure. And remember, the air pressure is applied only when we get a hit. The air pressure, the air molecule moving around the room doesn't apply a pressure, but the minute it hits something and bounces off, then we get the pressure. So we want to try and figure out how we can alter that pressure. And the first way we alter it is going to be demonstrated with these two very different volumes. Now, obviously, I can't get the ping pong ball to fly around the boxes like an air molecule. So instead of making the ping pong ball or air molecule move, I'm going to make the box move and you'll hear the ball and you're going to hear the ball when it hits the sides of the box. It's going to make a sound and every sound would be an application of pressure. That is when the side of the box gets struck. And I'm going to try and shake the boxes at about the same speed and it's very important to listen to them. So this box makes quite a bit of noise. You can hear that ball clunking around a lot. However, when I put it in this box, it not only gets a lot more awkward because this is a big box, but I'm going to try and do this at about the same speed and listen carefully. So you can tell this larger box made a lot less noise because the, ball, the, ping, the ping pong ball air molecule had to travel a lot further before it could hit a surface. And remember the hits are the pressure. So we get a lot less air pressure in this box than in this box, making the assumption that there's only one air molecule in each one and that they're both traveling at the same speed. So the first way that we can alter air pressure, as long as we have a closed system, in other words, no air molecules can get in or out, is to just change the volume of the space that the air is in. A smaller volume is going to raise the pressure for more hits. A larger volume is going to lower the pressure because of fewer hits. And remember the noise that each one made were basically the hits. Thanks for watching.